I'm Matt Walsh. My parents had sex here. Nah, that makes me more American than people who actually crossed the Rio Grande, which is full of death traps now, to get here because they love this country so much and and had such bad conditions in their other country that we ravaged that they decided they wanted to come here risking life and limb to do so risking jail risking deportation risking their own flesh and blood yeah i'm matt walsh i was born here yeah f you We've already gone over two videos detailing Biden dropping out and Kamala Harris becoming the, the likely nominee. I want to go over one more from our boy Matt Walsh here who still cannot answer whether or not uh, it is okay for a... Why, why he's okay with 13-year-old victims of sexual assault and violence to uh, give birth, be forced to give birth, uh, as we all know. So uh, he still can't answer that question. But, you know, I value his opinion on things. So let's uh, see what his opinion on the uh, Kamala Harris likely nomination is. So Kamala Harris is, of course, not the official nominee yet. Um, I'd say her chances are about 99.9% .9 at this point, only because it's, it's clear Probably. that the same forces Agreed. who pushed Biden out have selected her, and they're the ones who decide. Doesn't matter what the voters want. Well, Biden also endorsed her, but like, there's that. And also, the voters decided they wanted Kamala Harris as the VP, which is an endorsement as uh, for Kamala Harris as becoming the president. Like, that's a, a, an, it's an implicit endorsement for her being the president over Donald Trump. Um, and as mentioned uh, uh, in the opening monologue, already Harris has been endorsed by dozens of national Democrat politicians. The Clintons came out Good. and endorsed her within minutes of Biden dropping out. Coconuts in chat. The donors are apparently all in. She's raised like $50 million since the Biden announcement. Uh, the media claims that those are grassroots donations. Insane numbers. Which, and yes, yeah, they were. Sure. They were. Um, but more importantly. I mean, yeah, sh okay, show me the proof. Show me where the money came from then, man. You can't just say, yeah, sure. Show me where the money came from. Show me. As far as I know, nobody else has it thrown their hat into It was grassroots. It was insane. Rain. At this point, it would take somebody with real guts, like a, a, a true insurgent type, to raise their hand and say, hey, you know, I, I want to, uh, not so fast. I don't think anyone like that exists in the Democrat Party, at least not anybody with um, a high enough profile to eventually to, to uh, you know, uh, to to potentially pull it off. So it looks like OK, they're going. OK, so if she gets the delegates, then she's the candidate. Like this isn't a matter of like even if a Democrat does stand up and say, no, 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 we can't do that. It doesn't matter. Like the the, the vast majority of the Democratic Party has already rallied around her and she's got the delegates already. So like it's going to be Kamala. Looks like it'll be Harris. And um, if it's Harris, we all know what that means. It means that the whole campaign Mama, come will be about race and gender, right? Vote for Harris or you're a racist misogynist. That's the whole True. campaign. And we all know that. Good point, man. In Matt. fact, it's already starting. I'll give you just one example of many from uh, the past 12 hours. Reuters has this headline. He looks defeated. He always With looks Kamala defeated. Harris, Democrats would bet against U.S. history of sexism and racism. He's got resting cuck face. The article says the Democratic Party will be taking a historic gamble if it now turns to Vice President Kamala Harris to become its uh, presidential candidate. Betting that a black woman can overcome racism, sexism, and her own missteps as a politician to defeat Republican Donald Trump. Uh, in more than two centuries of democracy, American voters have elected only one black president and never a woman, a record that makes even some black voters wonder if Harris can crash through the hardest ceiling in U.S. politics. Will her race and gender be an issue? Absolutely, said Latasha Brown, a political strategist and co-founder of Black Voters Matter Fund. But despite earning praise in the last few weeks for her strong defense of Biden, some Democrats remain concerned about Harris's shake. We literally just have to point out that the mo people most vocally opposed to Kamala Harris are being openly racist and sexist with their actions. That's true. It's, it's just like they're shooting themselves in the foot by being like, this is a DEI hire. She's a DEI hire. Like, you're giving the game away, man. Like, you're, you, you claim not to be the racist and sexist, and yet here you are being racist and sexist. If Donald Trump is so good, maybe he should win on his own fucking merits. Shaky first two years in office, short-lived campaign for the 2020 Democratic nomination, and perhaps most of all, the weight of a long history of racial and gender discrimination in the United States. You see what they're doing here, which is very, uh, very funny that they're, they, they Being admit that, well, yeah, she's incompetent. She's done a terrible job, but you know, mainly it's that America is racist and everybody has, every, every single politician has political missteps. 
Okay, Kamala Harris is far from the perfect candidate and far from my first choice. Okay, but right now I don't give a f because the most important thing is beating Donald Trump and not ma and making sure that we don't live in a fascist dictatorship. So whatever. And sex is what? Wait, how? So if if she ends up and Donald failing, Trump sucks ass, by the way, and she she's and she loses the election. Like they they've set it up so that they can of course say, oh, it's because America is racist and sexist. But you're all yeah, they'll be yelling that, that it was racist and sexist all the way to the camps that you want them to go to. Man. Also, Good, could it point. also be that people have noticed what you call her shaky time as vice president? I mean, that that potential explanation exists, but we know ahead of time that if she loses yeah, the election, it, it won't be because of that. Donald um, Trump is a racist and, and a sexist. If you vote for him, you're probably racist and, and sexist. And so um, so there are two things I want to say about this, and we'll obviously be revisiting this topic because there's a lot to be said about it. But for now, first of all, just to kind of reiterate a point, because I think it's important, this word of caution, that it, it would be very foolish to assume that Harris is not a threat to Trump, that her candidacy is a big joke, that Trump will win easily, and so on. Uh, we should not assume that. Yes, Harris is a bumbling idiot with no accomplishes to accomplishments to speak of, but that doesn't necessarily matter. The media, which still has... I don't even, I, I, I'm like the based thriller voter right now, where it's like, I don't even know what her accomplishments are, and I'm still voting for her. I don't give a f An enormous amount of power to shape narratives... At least she's not Trump. ...will set to work, as they already have, to shape this, you know, to shape her into this uh, messianic figure, you know, this savior figure, a woman who has come to save us from white supremacy and sexism and all the rest of it. And that propaganda, it's like it's hard to, to judge sometimes because that kind of propaganda just falls totally flat, probably for you if you're watching the show. It obviously falls flat for me. I just laugh at Clearly. it. But we're, we're not laughing, man. He looks pretty nervous to me. He hasn't laughed so far. That's not the case for everybody. There's I don't know that I've ever heard Matt Walsh actually laugh. I feel like it would break reality. You, ever, you guys ever see the episode of Billy and Mandy where uh, Mandy like smiles and then it completely breaks reality? I feel like that's what would, what would happen if uh, Matt Walsh tried to laugh. Plenty of people in this country who will see that and be convinced by it and, um, and will be successfully energized because of it. You know, I've heard the claim very common claim on the right anyway, that, that actually a Harris, a Harris campaign will be easier for Trump to beat than Biden. But I think uh, that that's, okay. I don't think that's correct. Got to agree with him there. Now, uh, Harris. Yeah, a savior, yeah. Good point, Jimmy dear. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> uh, he, yeah. A savior figure, which they're totally not treating Donald Trump like, by the way. God, no, of course not. It's not like God like stepped in to save Donald Trump from a bullet, right? Which he then redirected into one of his fans. But we, we forget about that part. So he, you know, God saved Donald Trump period end of story, right? So God, that's the narrative we're running with is that God stepped in to save Donald Trump. He is literally like a holy anointed warrior. And yet we're the ones with the savior candidate. Yeah, good point. Of 2024 would be easier to be yeah, good point. Thank you, Sprite, who Biden put it out of 2020. First or Biden of 2016 if he had gotten in. Um, that's true. But Trump wasn't running against that Biden, but Trump was running against the Biden who can't who can't speak at all. You know, we joke about uh, how Harris can't speak, but she can't, I mean, she can't actually, what she's saying doesn't make any sense, but she can't actually get the words out. So she's got that going for her at least. Um, but I think more importantly, there was just, there was just no, like with Biden, Right, re election, there was, there was no energy, there was no enthusiasm. Yep. Um, the media couldn't even find a way to generate enthusiasm, as we know, which is why they gave up on him and pushed him out instead. With Harris, it, yeah, by all rights, by all merits, coconuts, there's coconuts nothing to be excited about. But there are certain things here that the media can we'll latch on to to try That's to exciting. generate excitement. Um, in a totally artificial... And also, I'm sorry, but it is exciting that we get a female president. That is exciting. I know that seems like liberal bullshit, guys, but think about it. That is extraordinarily exciting. Because in all of our history, 50% of the population is female, and yet 0% of the population has ever 
been uh zero percent of the female population has ever been president that's insane that's insane if you don't think that we live in a sexist country there's your evidence okay just one part of it so even just like the uh the optics of a female president being in office is exciting in itself and i feel like that's worthy of celebration okay that's awesome we should get excited about that that is awesome okay that shatters the glass ceiling you know like that's great and the fact that you're not excited about it is because you're probably just a misogynist. Disingenuous way, but there's there's something there. And it's really, it's all about just identity. It's Definitely woman, misogynist, but you know. Not white, young, you know, again, 59, but young by comparison. As I said in a previous uh, segment, it's always been a popularity contest, always. It just became more so with the dawn of media, sorry, social media and TV. But it's always been a popularity contest. It's never been about uh, the actual things that you're going to accomplish. So we have, to, we have to be realist about it. I'm seeing a lot of anti-realism on social media right now. For example, Kim Klasik, um tweeted yesterday that, that uh, President Trump will garner a larger portion of the black vote than Harris will, which is just fantasy. Okay, It's wish casting. A Republican true. nominee hasn't even come close to that in generations. The idea that one will finally pull it off while running against a non-white female Yes, but uh, Donald Trump is a convicted felon and uh, all black people are actually criminals or or criminal empathizers. So I think actually, if you really think about it, that, yeah, okay. It's just pure delusion. It's not going to happen. You have to understand and acknowledge that. Not because we want to be pessimistic He's not or fatalistic, not because we're conceding defeat, obviously. But has he ever actually sat down to think about that? Like a black, uh, the, like the, the Republican, uh, or sorry, the conservative nominee has never had the black majority. Like, have you ever actually stopped to consider why? You know, like, let, let's just really consider that. Uh, all the smart money is still on Trump in this thing. Don't get me wrong, but we have to be realistic about it because we have to employ an effective strategy that is grounded in reality. And there is no effective strategy except one that is grounded in reality. And um, that brings me to the second point, which is, which is this, that Harris's whole campaign will be about diversity, right? Race and gender, diversity, awesome. equity, inclusion. I mean, it, it will be the DEI campaign. There it is. Let's go, baby. Um, also, abortion ooh, 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 is going to be a big DEI. part of it, which ooh, falls ooh, into ooh, the gender category for them. And the Republican instinct, and I'm already seeing some of this, and this is what worries me, because the Republican instinct will be to pander even more to women and minorities in order to counteract all of that. Right, but that, that's the wrong move. That's a sorry, losing I, I, battle. Sorry, got to go back a little bit. Will Republican be instinct. To pander even more to women and minorities in order to counteract all of that. You're going to have to. I don't know how. Good luck. But yeah, you're kind of going to have to, huh? Right, but that, that's the wrong. Maybe have some better, like, optics, you know? Like, you could have gone with a female vice president pick or uh, somebody, a uh, person of color, you know? I'm just saying move that's a losing battle that is a fool's errand you are not going to out pander a minority female democrat politician you're not going to do so what he's going to say next then is just the black people and women right that's what comes next because if you give up right give minorities a single good reason to vote for you right like if you just give up on the black uh, population and, and the female population then all you're doing is just you know like you're you're saying well just them then you know, we'll, we'll pander to the white supremacists and the misogynists, which good luck because that's a big, that's a minority now. Okay. That is now a minority population in the United States. So the people who are like outwardly, openly racist and misogynist. Okay. The people who are like fine with being that that's a minority. Do it. You cannot win that pandering battle. You just can't. I fully it's support not Matt possible. Walsh and his political strategy. And if you try, you'll be fighting the battle on her field, on her terms the way that she wants. You'd be doing her a massive favor. So what's the alternative, Matt? You know, if by, if, if Trump comes out and says, no, I'm the one, I'm really the one who's, uh, who, who, uh, who, who cares the most about uh, black people and minorities. It's me. Like that kind of thing. Trump comes out with that. Harris is sitting there like, thank Gotta God. Gotta do the opposite. Gotta say, no, actually I hate them. <laughs> thank God this is the, this is the tact he's taking. She wouldn't be thanking God, but whoever she thinks. <laughs> okay, um, dude. Isn't she Christian? You can't win that way. So rather than pander, now, does that mean that you come out and say, ah, oh, we don't need, we don't need any votes from women and black people? No, thanks. Obviously not. Uh-huh. Then what do you do? 
But no, you just don't they pander. Like this. this is this is all the more reason to not do it. That it's all the more reason to not it. run around like bragging about all the quote unquote black jobs you created while saying nothing about white jobs. Right, like listing all the groups you're helping. But sp- okay, well, when there's okay, so when there's a disproportional number of people who are black that don't have that are unemployed, yeah, I'd say that it's a pretty good thing to to mention the fact that like you create black jobs, you know, like uh, like or jobs for black people, like like you've you've gotten more black people employed, right? That's a good metric, okay. What is a black job? I don't know, but like in as far as it like it, that's this is what I'm assuming they mean is black people is jobs that black people get as a result of the fact that they wouldn't be unemployed anymore. You know what I mean? So like, that's what I'm taking from it is like, well, we created more jobs. And then as a result, there are fewer black people who are not employed. Right. I think that's great. If that's not a good thing to you, Matt, I, I don't, I don't understand. Are you, are you just racist or what? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Specifically not mentioning white of people. That's is, what I mean but, by the know. pandering. Okay. And that kind of tactic, I don't think it, it, it's a, a, an effective tactic, even if you're running against Joe Biden, but against Kamala Harris, especially isn't. A um, black job is president of the U.S. Good point. So let her run the race and gender pandering campaign. She- Think about first we had Obama, right? And then we had Joe Biden and he's, you know, kind of black. And then we're going to have Kamala Harris and she's, you know, I'm just saying. He can have that. And Republicans should run a campaign that isn't about any of that. A campaign that's actually about Americans. Which they've never done. We're breaking it down into groups. This is this is breaking ground here. But you're just running for Americans, Americans who who call this place their homeland, like J.D. Vance said in his uh, in his speech at the convention. Make that mm-hmm. your campaign. Uh, you know what homeland means, okay? It means that your your parents had sex here. You're like your biological, like two people decided they're gonna bang on this on this soil, okay? And you know where they came from? Probably the same soil. Their parents before them banged on this soil, okay? And guess where they came from? Same deal. And it goes back until you get to the people who actually came over to ravage the Native Americans first and then bang on the soil, okay? Often with people who don't consent. So like, you know, like, I feel like it's it's not that much to be proud of. Like, your parents banged here, so what? Yeah, my parents had sex here, soy face, right. Exactly. I don't give a f- the people who actually deserve to be here, right, are the people who, like, make the effort to come here and stay here. Okay, which they call many of them illegal immigrants. You know what I call them? I call them Americans. Um, True Americans. Which is, for the most part, essentially, of course, as we heard in the Vance's campaign speech, like that is that's already a big part of the message, which is good. But I'm just worried about this. What we know historically has been the Republican uh, instinct to. I'm Matt Walsh. My parents had sex here. Nah, yeah, that makes me more American than people who actually crossed the. F- Rio Grande, which is full of death traps now to get here because they love this country so much and and had such bad conditions in their other country that we ravaged that they decided they wanted to come here risking life and limb to do so, risking jail, risking deportation, risking their own flesh and blood. Yeah, I'm Matt Walsh. I was born here. Yeah, f*** you. See this pandering game going on and thinking, well, we can, we can, we can, two can play at that game. You didn't work to get here. They can't. Hey, YouTube, thanks. Matt Walsh is doing what he does best, being a soy cuck bitch. What else is new? I am, once again, very optimistic about Kamala's chances, and this did nothing to sway my opinion on that. So that's where I'll end it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload. If you uh, enjoy my content, you enjoy what I do, I really appreciate any financial help that I can get. Go to youtube.com slash TTV slash join. You got some awesome benefits, such as seeing early videos, awesome emotes that you can use in the comments of YouTube videos, and a sweet badge next to your name. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'd really appreciate it if you join it is cheaper than the cost of a blowjob from your mom so with all that being said thank you again for watching and i'll see you all in the next video